Well, my name's Elsa Shepherd, and um, I'm an engineer. And at the moment, I'm the chairman of PowerLink Queensland. Um, I was born in South Africa. My father was Danish, and he'd come out from Denmark and finally found himself in Cape Town and decided to do medicine. My mother was South African. She was a school teacher. So that's where they met. After the war, he won a scholarship to Oxford. But it, because it was just after the war, he could get a, a berth on a ship going to Oxford, but his family couldn't go with him. What happened then was that my mother said, well, you're not going on your own. I can't possibly let you go on your own. And they were sitting around with friends having a dinner party. And mum said, well, why don't we drive? So they set off in two cars, no mechanics, no money, and they drove from Cape Town to London. My sister was born when I was six, when we were back in Cape Town. That was an interesting time in our life because it was at the height of apartheid period. And we had our beloved Constance, who was our nanny and our servant. And Constance got married, but for um, black women who got married, they were not allowed to stay in Cape Town to work. They were, had to be sent back to their homelands. And my mother couldn't see how you could possibly separate newly married couples, and so she allowed Constance to stay working with us. And then Constance had a baby. Well, you can imagine that in the time of apartheid, that was absolutely unacceptable. And it was only a matter of time before this would all come unstuck and mum would be arrested. And my father didn't want to have anything to do with this. So eventually um, he said, no, we're leaving. So he got a job lecturing at the University of Queensland. So that was 1956, and I was 12. I went to the Brisbane Girls Grammar School, and I loved maths and physics, and I decided I wanted to be an engineer. So I went to the University of Queensland and studied engineering. When I graduated, I immediately got married and moved to Mackay. At that time, married women who didn't need to did not work but I insisted on working and if that was not bad enough I wanted to work in factories and so I found that uh, the society did not welcome me um, for that regard I didn't wasn't behaving the way I should I joined the Institution of Engineers, which was my professional body, which was very awkward for them because they had their meetings in the men's club where I couldn't go. But I absolutely insisted that they move so that I could go to the meetings. The annual dinner, which was very much a professional affair, they had that in the men's club too. And as a compromise to me, they said I could come to the dinner, but I had to wait in a sort of back room while the men went to the bar of the men's club and had their drinks. And then when they were ready, they came into the dining room and the door was shut and I could come in and so I wasn't, wouldn't be seen in the men's club. By being an engineer, a female engineer early on, I hope that I've touched some other people and, and perhaps given the odd woman a bit of courage to um, do what she wants to do. And you can do it. No, I don't think, there's nothing to stop us at all. So I hope that people have enjoyed working with me and I hope that in some way I've made a little difference.